Welcome to Fear Busters, episode 15. This episode is titled, Hope in Heaven. Not in this dice. You're gonna have to figure out what that means. So here we go. Do the chant with me and let's go into today's episode. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Welcome to the game of faith. This is Rachel. Hi, I'm Rachel. She might not have much, but she lives her life following God's plan for her, even though life might get tough. This is Lena. Hi, I'm Lena. She goes to church and serves a lot, but only to please herself and others. Let's begin. Let's go! You wanna go first? Obviously, who do you think you are? I always think Go to church? I go here every week. Ugh, whatever. My turn! <gasps> go to church! I love going to church! I love praising God! I love having fellowship with everyone! Ew, you're so weird. Who does that? Finally, it's my turn. A five. A three. Devotional? I already know everything in the Bible. What more do I have to read? Back to me. A four. Another four. Devotional, my favorite time of the day. I can't wait to hear what God has to tell me today. I better roll a high number. <gasps> a six! <gasps> a one? I'm done. You got another six? How? Yeah. I'm just not good. If you choose a safe route, it will take longer to reach the final destination and require more patience, but it will be rewarding. If you choose a risky route, it will be difficult, but shorter. I choose a risky path because I'm going to reach heaven first. A six! Oh, another six. I must be pretty lucky. I choose the safe path because although it may require more patience, I'm willing to spend more time with God. A two. A six. Prayer, I got this. Dear Heavenly Father, I live my utmost gratitude to you. I give you all the glory, praise, and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. I wish Rachel heard that. Wow, another six? <gasps> another six! <gasps> I love Bible study. I can learn more about God with my brothers and sisters in Christ. Jesus' teaching on the mountainside is known as the Sermon on the Mount. First, Jesus taught people about God's kingdom. God's kingdom is not like life on earth. On earth, the types of people who seem to get ahead are people who are greedy or popular. They like to argue or think they deserve whatever they want. But Jesus said God's kingdom is for people who are poor in spirit and who are treated wrongly for doing the right thing. God has blessings for people who are humble, for those who want what God wants, and for those who are peacemakers. Also, Jesus taught people how to live in God's kingdom. Believers are lights in a dark world. How we live can lead others to God. 
The Bible said to not only love your neighbor, but to also love your enemies. We can live this way even now. One day, Jesus will return and his kingdom will extend over all creation. What Jesus was teaching was not a list of requirements for being accepted by God. Rather, Jesus described what a person's life looks like when that person follows God and lives to honor him. A three! A one! Risky path worked last time, so I'm gonna go risky path again. Go back six spaces? Oh. Kevin, I'm already here. I'll see you. I'll see you around, Lana. Two. Two again. What now? The game master has offered to give you one more chance. After watching this video, if you answer his question correctly, you'll be allowed to move on. However, if you don't, sadly, you'll be stuck here. Hi, Lena. It seems like you're in a very sticky situation right now. And I feel you because I've had a whole bunch of mistakes of my own. But today's message is perfect for you. It comes from Matthew chapter 5 all the way to chapter 7. This passage is better known as the Sermon on the Mount when Jesus goes up the mountain and teaches his disciples and other people who are listening about the kingdom of God. And not only does he talk about the kingdom of God, he also talks about who they are as disciples, as those who belong to the kingdom of God, how they should live and what their reactions and their interactions together should look like. So, here we go. We're not going to go into all the details, but the, some of the bigger topics that are in here in the Sermon of the Mount talk about what it means to be a salt of the world, light of the world, what it means not to worry about tomorrow, but to think and seek the kingdom of God, that we should not be angry how, and do not sin in that anger, rather give our hearts to the Lord and allow him to work in our lives. It just it feels like sometimes a list of things to do. And I know you may feel like, oh, I got to do this, I got to do that. And it seems like a burden that what we need to do. But rather than a burden, it's a call and a reminder of who we are. Lena, who are you? You're in a sticky situation. Especially when you're in a position where you do things that you want to do and it doesn't always go right. Sometimes you make the right decisions. Sometimes you make the wrong decisions. And when we make wrong decisions, sometimes it just seems, seems to just go by. But there are moments where you make the wrong decision and you get into a sticky situation. Where you get in a position where you feel like it's not working the way that you want to. As a matter of fact, you get stuck. And you just come to a complete stop. And you can't break out of it. But the wonderful thing is that our God is a God of second chances. In fact, he's a God with many, many different chances. And he forgives us when we turn away from sin, what we want to do, and we go the direction that God calls us as those who belong to the kingdom of heaven. And here's the important part. God doesn't force us into it. Rather, he reminds us of who we are. Lena, let me ask you this. Who are you? You are not a slave. We are not slaves to sin. The Bible says, yes, that we were enemies with God. When we did things that God was not happy with, remember what sin is. Sin is something that we think, say, or do, or do not do, that displeases God. God. 
So when we sin, it's something that God doesn't want us to do. And yes, we do sin. And when we are sinners, the Bible talks about that we were enemies with God. But you are no longer an enemy. Who are you? You are a daughter of God. You belong to the kingdom of heaven. And this passage in the Sermon of of the Mount reminds us of who you are and who all of us are. We are called as sons and daughters of God. Let me remind you, the Bible is reminding you today of who you are. You are a daughter of God. And we are called to live in the light. And and that shouldn't feel like a burden for us. Rather, it's something in our heart that we should joyfully follow God. And why is that? It's because of this. It's not that our good actions saves us. We don't save ourselves. Rather, Jesus is the one who fulfills all the things that we cannot do. He lives that perfect life for us instead of us. The life that we could not live perfectly, obeying every commandment of God, Jesus does that through his life. And when he dies on the cross, he swaps places with us. So that his perfect life, his perfect works, go on top of us. That's what it means to be clothed in righteousness. And it is because of that new identity, as no, no, no longer a sinner, now that we are actually called sons and daughters of God, we are called to live in the light and joyously obey the Lord. Lena, maybe right now, because it looked good to cheat or cut some corners, and that may look good immediately in your life. And maybe that's the reason why it got you into a sticky situation. It's time to turn away from that. And once again, focus our attention to God and say, God, I belong to you. I belong to you. And when we say that and when we repent of our ways and we're reminded of who we are, once again, we are called to live as a daughter of God and sons of God. So Lena, let me remind you once again, you are a daughter of God. And may you walk, not in darkness, but in light, following the path that God has called us to walk in. Can I pray for you right now? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just want to pray for Lena and whoever is listening to this message. Lord, there are moments where we get in a sticky situation, where we want to do the things that we want us to do. And sometimes that's not quite the way that you have called us to be. Lord, at this time, we want to repent. We want to say, God, I'm sorry for cutting corners, for cheating, for doing things that we know we weren't supposed to do. But Lord, thank you for calling us today as sons and daughters of God and reminding us of who we are. So at this time, once again, we want to um, just come before you, not just being stuck and holding on to our ways. Rather, we want to give that up to you and say, God, we belong to you. So Lord, would you just come into our lives? Would you intervene? Lord, would you lead us the way that you call us to be? Lord, we thank you, we love you, and we want to walk in your ways. In your son Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said, Amen. The question the Game Master has for you is, while playing this game of faith, what do you think you did wrong? Now that I look back on it, I guess I wasn't a true Christian. I used God for my own purpose, and I acted all prideful. Instead of trying to build a genuine relationship with God, I just try to look good in front of everyone. I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that I'm really sorry and I repent for all my sins. The Game Master has forgiven you and is letting you finish the game. I don't really deserve it, but thank you for giving me a second chance.
What do you want to do now? Let's go worship God, okay?
hope you enjoyed our 15th episode of Fear Busters. This episode, we talked about the kingdom of heaven. Yes, our life is not just a game of faith. It definitely belongs to the Lord, our salvation, and our lives. However, yes, we are very part of making decisions as those who belong to that kingdom. I pray and I hope that this week you may remember who you are, that you belong to the kingdom of heaven, and that you are sons and daughters of God. So as you keep your hope in heaven, have a wonderful week. Especially, I want you to have fun making this craft. This one's really fun. Um, so after you make it, upload either picture, I think this time a video even, would sound really cool. So if you could share it us with us, the video at dccdiscipleland at gmail.com or upload it on Instagram with the hashtag DCLFearBusters and we would love to see how much fun you guys are having. So have a wonderful week. Let's end with our chant. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back! No turning back! Eee.